Low mount is a great control position right here. This is a great control position, especially for people who don't have a lot of experience at jujitsu. This is an easier mount to learn. But people sometimes think there's not a lot of submissions here. There's plenty of submissions here. So the, there's two. The classic one I'm going to use here is I'm going to put my arm behind his neck. Anytime my hands, my left arm's behind his neck, I'm a little bit concerned I'm going to get rolled over here because my arm's trapped. So if I feel him grab my arm or try and do that again, I switch my hips and I'm dropping my right hip down and I'm making my left foot light. Try and roll. And then he's just not going to get that roll. And when he stops, he goes back to neutral. When I want to attack, I open up his chin with my body. I make my hands relaxed. I put my hand on his windpipe and then I make a, re a really strong fist because I, if it's a relaxed fist, you actually lose a lot. So I want to put it in here and make it a strong fist like it's a rock. And then I melt my body over the top and then very slowly I expand my shoulders back. Okay? So open them up with your chest. Hand comes in onto the windpipe. Very strong fist. If you want, you can put your elbow out on the mat. It's not necessary. This hand doesn't have to grab the sleeve at all. Relax over the top. Expand my chest. So what's, what's doing the choke is my whole body. If I had to pick one choke that's my favorite choke from low and middle mounts, it's that, because it's simple. It doesn't require any cloth. But if he's gonna def the only way he's going to defend against is by bringing his hands up. And one hand is usually not enough, right? And so that allows us to transition to middle mount. But I'll give you one more. Sometimes guys are going to do this. And they do this for the same reason that they do this when we're on the backs. So anybody know why? Right, so face that way, Tim. If I were to get behind him, right? Just relax your arms here for a second. And you tried to defend me from choking you here on this side with this hand. It doesn't work too good, right? Just because the way we're built. He needs this hand to defend me coming in this way. And so then I decide to come in this way, he needs the other hand. And so that's why your hands are like that. Okay? And they will do that same thing from Mount Bottom. Sometimes, right, which can be annoying. But from low mount, let's go this way a little bit. From low mount, he's there. Notice that this is wide open right here, right? So I'm just gonna stick my fingers in this part right here. <laughs> And then I'm going to put my knuckles into the neck. My elbows are on the mat. And then I'm just going to slowly Stop. lift up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just a nutcracker choke. <laughs> Called a nutcracker choke. Old school. Right? So it's all chokes, you're closing off that space. Here, I'm just doing it backwards. So my hands come in this way. I grab the gi and then I lift, and it's my knuckles that are going into the artery. And remember, you don't need to go harder than that to make the guy pass out as long as I get both sides. So I don't need to like, grind it in there. It hurts, but that's just a side effect. <laughs> it's just this lifting motion. He should be tapping because it's a choke, right? So if he blocks that way, I come in here, my hands into the gi, push my knuckles in, relax, and then I sit up, and that's it. Now, uh, yep, yes, I'll come around and help you. But for him to defend that, he's going to have to move his hands from here and go like this. And again, we can go to high mount, which we'll get into in a minute. But let's just get that choke. Okay, so my two fingers and my thumb go in close together, and then I lift, pushing these knuckles into the neck. 